What's up, guys? It's Brian from Asher Hub. It's about 9.50 p.m. Eastern Time, January 29, 2018. We're coming to you with a brand new trading video. This one's going to be on Verge. And actually, I lied. Verge and, and possibly a little bit of, of Bitcoin because Bitcoin's been pushing things around a lot. So first, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, upvote, re-steam uh, if you guys are on Steemit and or DTube. And if you're not, you need to get on it, especially in the, if you're in the cryptocurrency world. You need to get on those types of platforms. Links are down below. Also, get on our Facebook uh, trading team page too. So let's get right into it here. Uh, Verge, I think the last time we spoke, it was... We were uh, looking at this triangle right here. The triangle appears to have been ended and we're pretty much going sideways. This made kind of an A, B, C, D, E. It was a little pop and then and then it kind of continued to go sideways. You know, um, pretty, pretty straightforward as far as that's concerned. What's not straightforward is what's going on right here in the center. Uh, when I say it's not straightforward, it's not simple. It's, these are some pretty complex uh, chart patterns here. And I've hesitated on going over them for quite some time. Um, they're, they're, they're on a few different charts, on a, on a bunch of different coins, a similar type of ch sideways chart pattern. And it's some more advanced type of Elliott Wave theory uh, charting uh, technique. And the reason why I, I, I hesitated is because you need to have a lot of background, a lot, a lot of proper background before you even get to it. And I don't want to lose people, and then I don't want people utilizing it incorrectly uh, as well. So, um, you know, I've I've hinted on on this type of pattern before in the past. Um, my my results, as far as the analysis is concerned, is considering these patterns. I'm just not talking about it explicitly for the reasons I mentioned. Now, today, I actually had a lot of time. Today, uh, for the first time in a long time, I had a ton of time, a ton of time to myself. Um, I had done uh, jury duty, and so I was plotting out in my mind what I want, how I want to go ahead and structure things going forward. And for a long time, I've hinted on the fact of possibly putting together a, a tutorial or a seminar, something along, something along those lines. And I think I'm really going to go, f go, go uh, full steam ahead with that my hesitancy was the fact that um i'm a i'm a huge perfectionist and i really want to do a correct uh, i really want to do the right thing and in order to do that it's going to take hundreds of hours of 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 input by me really just kind of trying to put down on paper anything and everything i know about how to apply elliott wave theory Probably also going to include actually some Fibonacci stuff in there too, and maybe a few little spurts of little things here and there. But I think I'm going to be committing to that probably within the next week or two. I'll probably start doing that, and I'll be looking to do a full blown 100% Elliott Wave theory kind of no holds bar. Um, this is exactly what it's all about type of thing. So. Um, yes, we will be speaking about these patterns in the future, and I think this going about it this way is a good way because then it'll be a, a basically a repository of uh, even people that are beginning or, or intermediates or even professionals and stuff like that to, to, to get that basic Elliott Wave Theory information and um, so we can actually start talking about these charts actually on a more advanced level. And I think that's going to be pretty interesting for a lot of people. So I want to make sure everybody's kind of like all on the same on the same pace. And really, that's the best way to go about doing it. So um, I spoke about that a little bit longer than I wanted to. But so let's get let's continue with Verge here. So Verge. Originally, we we thought that there was going to be this big ABC type of correction. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that because of this sideways nature here and also kind of what's going on here too. But even in here, there are like miniature ABC corrections. And like this, this could be, this is an A, B, and a C correction right here. Okay. Um, so what do I think is going to happen with Verge? I think Verge is actually going to sell off. Um, in particular, definitely if Bitcoin is, but I do think it's going to sell off. We have some support lines here 
that are drawn in. Right now we're at uh, 0.08, so in other words, 8 cents. Um, so like 8.2 cents, 8.19 cents to be exact. And, you know, you see the uh, QQE indicator has crossed down. And that's obviously not a, not a bullish thing. It's, it's a bearish thing. Um, but volume is getting like really low. Really, 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 really low. So this is kind of telling me that we're at like a point of indecision. And going sideways is not such a bad thing in this market. It's really buying time to really kind of see where Bitcoin is where, where Bitcoin is going. So we have some some support levels here. This is one here. Let's call it about six and a half cents, somewhere around there, um, which corresponds to the bottom here. There's a bunch of congestion right here. There's a bottom here, and I just like the way it looks. As far as resistance is concerned, you know, we do have resistance that's right above here. This is about 10 cents, call it about 11 cents to be exact. And we're kind of like in this big channel right here. I mean, there's like a channel within a channel. So what do I think possibly can happen? Am I actually going to pull out a little Fibonacci action right here? Um, <clears throat> let's do this real quick. Okay. Okay, what's interesting to note is this right here. I think I moved this. Hey, hold on one sec. I did move it. Please be well. Be well. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. I moved it by accident. All right, so what do we see? We see that the 0.786, this set, in other words, a 78%, 78.6% line is right here, basically right on the support line right here that we had drawn. Uh, also, the you know uh, the point, point 0.618, or in other words, 61.8%, line is pretty much right where we drew this one right here so these are pretty significant lines to say to say the least and my my thought process is let me delete that my, my thought process is that, is that the market's going to fall off here it may even possibly make new lows aha uh -huh. Yeah, it may even possibly make new lows. Now I got to go ahead and I got to pull this thing back up again. Sorry about that. Seem to be all thumbs today. All right. So where could it possibly go? As far as Fibonacci is concerned is Oof, it's difficult, right? I mean, there's really not much here. There's actually not anything here. 0.786 is kind of the last major re Fibonacci retracement. And you can break up others, uh, and you can make other levels too, but the significance goes down drastically. Okay, so that's why I wanted to bring this back up again. So where could it possibly, where could it possibly end up? It's difficult to say. It's very difficult to say. So if it starts breaking down below these levels right here, you know, possibly I would say maybe a level right here, 0 0.045. In other words, uh, four and a half cents could possibly be another low. Now remember, this is a coin that was freaking flying high before. Yeah, this is a coin about 28 cents. So if you are in Verge, you know, I feel sorry if you hadn't gone ahead and started raising capital uh, during these levels right here. There's really not much else to do as far as a bullish scenario is concerned. I don't really see very much right now. I need to see some higher highs. I need to see some bullish action, and I really don't see any of that right now. If anything, I see things falling off to the to the to the bearish side. So let's also take a look at Bitcoin real quick. And we see Bitcoin has a support zone, you know, call it right around 10,700. 
Right now it's about 10,900, 913. So it has a little bit to run. It definitely has a little bit more to run. So if we then go back and look at Verge, well, you know, Verge has, has run down quite a bit with respect to Bitcoin. I would actually probably say probably a little bit more. So it's really trying to hold onto this line right here. This line happens to coincide kind of like with this bottom right here. There's a bunch of candles about this bottom right here, which also happened to be a resistance line right here. So pretty much that's why this thing is being held up right here. And the market has tested this line, you know, many times before. Let's call it about eight cents. Uh, it's probably a little bit higher, about eight and a half cents. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it. I still do think, you know, we do have the possibility to get down to some low, like real lows, like three cents, um, which we had drawn a long time ago, a really long time ago. But I think it's going to be kind of difficult to go ahead and do that. You know, Bitcoin will have to <clears throat> show you what Bitcoin will have to do. Bitcoin will definitely have to go ahead and come down, you know, m majority of the way down to this blue line, you know, in order for that to happen on Verge. I mean, we'd have to probably cross over into this territory in order for Verge to go ahead and cross into, you know, the territory of coming down here that much. So with that, we're going to leave it there. I'm not really going to talk about a lot of the other chart patterns. There's a lot of different possible things going on. I don't want to scare the hell out of, out of anybody. Um, and uh, even more so than I probably already have. But um, yeah, that's what's going on. So we'll leave it there. Any questions, let us know and happy trading.